Hey guys, today we're looking at a security onion box. We're going to um, check the running services are online and the status is okay, and I'll show you that command. And I'm also going to show you how we're going to update uh, both Ubuntu and the uh, security onion instance. So the first thing we're going to do is to see if just, you know, if we have everything running okay, you're going to do sudo so stat um, pipe less. And that's going to show our, our current server statuses, and you can see they are running okay. Um, so that's just sometimes running properly, or you see it not collecting logs. This is a good thing to check to see that all your logs are running. Um, so that's a good command to have there. So let's go ahead and clear this. All right, once we cleared that, now we are going to run uh, sudo soup. And what that is going to do is it's going to check for updates and update packages for Ubuntu and Security Onion. So go ahead and run that command. This is just going to let you know that we're automatically install any available updates, blah, 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 blah. Hit enter to continue. And it looks like we do have a couple of updates to do here. So just let this run through its process. So now we're updating Ubuntu uh, packages. So like I said, this could take a while because you <clears throat> first have to update all the security onion. And then once that is done, then it updates everything with Ubuntu. So uh, this is just going to take a little bit. All right, we are now finally done. So if you have other sensors connected to, if this is your main security onion box and you have other sensors sending it packets and everything, then you need to make sure you go to those other sensors and make sure those are uh, updated because sometimes the master can't um, update the sensor. So it's just a good thing to SSH into those boxes as well and make sure those are fully up to date as well so your environment is fully up to date. So we're going to, going to hit enter, server is going to reboot, and hopefully it's going to come back online. We're going to check the statuses again on the services to make sure they all came back online, um, and we'll check that in just a minute. Alright, as you can see, we are back online. So we're going to log in as SO admin. And then our password here. And let's go ahead and run our uh, sudo SO stats. Alright, finally loaded. There we go. So since it just rebooted, it looks like we have a warning status, but that's probably just because it's still initializing like it's saying. Um, so let's just give it another like 10, 15 minutes and everything should be back online and status is okay. So that's how we update our security onion and Ubuntu at the same time. Now we're going to go to our sensors and we're going to run that same command. And what it's going to do is going to check this, make sure the master is updated. And if the master has a different version, then it's going to run the update. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, sensors and run that update as well. So we're at one of our sensors locations, which is an off-site location. So let's go ahead and log in with our SSH login. For security reasons, um, I'm not going to show you our logins, even our usernames. But once you get logged in SSH, you go ahead and do sudo soup on that server. And it's basically asking you... Um, are you sure you're going to want to update? It's going to do the kernels and remove the old stuff. That's fine. Go ahead and hit enter. And like I said, this is where it's going to check the master server. And if the master server is updated, then it's going to go ahead and run those updates right now. And once that is done, it's going to reboot. And then you should have your master and your sensors fully up to date.